What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We got sales engineering on the menu today and we're going to explore together what a sales engineer does, what it really takes to become a sales engineer because the first time I actually heard of this concept was a couple of years ago. I was having some drinks with some, with some friends and then this guy was talking about being a sales engineer and he actually suggested that I should be a sales engineer and I, and, and it never really occurred to me actually. And he was saying that how they just make a lot of money and obviously anything that is related to sales, you do get commission. And so the opportunities and the potential per se, may be a little bit larger than if you just, let's say you just work for 40, 50, 60 hours, whatever your job requires you to work uh, on a nice salary. You know, so I think that the, let's say the opportunities and the potential may be a little bit better for sales engineers, because obviously the more you sell, the more commission you make, but what do they do? Like, what is it that they do exactly? Like, how do you become one if you ever want to become one? But the cool thing before we get into that is that you don't have to be an engineer to be a sales engineer. I know this sounds a little bit counterintuitive. So we're going to go over that and we're actually going to use the Bureau of Labor Statistics website in the United States, which is going to give us a really nice background and overview of how much they make, the medium pay, the typical entry level education, like what you need if you need an experience, if you need on the job training. And so also we're going to be looking at the job outlook for that type of for sales engineering in general. But first, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex Isidro and here we talk about engineering career and life analysis. And if you like the content of this video or any of the videos that I have on my channel, consider subscribing. Make sure you like the damn video right now. And with that being said, let's go jump to the screen right now because we're going to go, like I said, to the Bureau of Labor Statistics website. I finally learned to say that. Let's say that five times. Bureau of Labor. <laughs> Anyway, so what do they do? What are sales engineers? And the first thing that we're going to be looking at here is we're going to go, don't get ahead of yourself yet. Just stay with me for a second. It's going to be worth it. And so let's look at the 2019 medium pay first. And we're going to go over these items fairly quickly because I understand that you can go in there, look at yourself, but let's do it together. So that way we both get insight into what a sales engineer does. So with that being said, the 2019 medium pay was 100 and 3,000 per year, that's median, about 50 bucks an hour. That's actually not too bad, I wanna say, uh, for a or the average medium pay for the median average pay for engineers in general was approximately 91,000, I believe in 2018 or 2019. And so this is above average, so not bad, not bad to start, right? And we also have, obviously, you just need a bachelor's degree. And as we will see later, you don't have to be an engineer to be a sales engineer. And then we have the work experience. You really don't need much experience. I think it's more of on the job training. They're going to train you to do, to be a sales engineer and then moderate long term. And I think this is the key. Like when you obviously going to be a sales engineer, you're going to need some type of sales experience, right? If you never sold anything, if you don't like persuasion, if you don't like let's say communication, co communicating with other people or one-on-one -on -one conversations. So if you're one of those people who just don't like people, they may not, this may not be the right career path for you per se. This may not be the right engineering field, but this is not the only one out there. Obviously you have many other paths that you can take depending on your specific level of expertise in your engineering field. And then we also going to look at the job outlook here from the next 10 years. They're saying that it's going to be about 6% growth. That's actually not bad. Uh, the, the average, I want to say is between like 4%, 4 and 5%. It's a little like average. I want to say, let's say, what does it say here? Uh, 4%. There we go. The average growth rate for all occupations is 4%. That's not bad. And then we're going to be adding 4,100 jobs to what we currently have. So here's the thing. Here's what we, well, you came here for, right? Like what do they do? Sales engineers sell complex scientific and technology technological products or services to businesses. So what you basically do, what this basically means is that you are going to be the one explaining all the technical features of anything that you may be selling. If you are selling a computer, obviously you're going to be talking about the technical features like RAM and the processor and like all the stuff. And most likely you are going to be very, very savvy. And I think that's the part that takes the, the most amount of training or the most amount of time being familiar with all the features and also talking up all the features that a certain product is of a certain product that you may be selling, you know, because when you come to sales, you want to point out 
always want to point out all the benefits that it brings and why people need it and what kind of problem it's solving for people you know so you're gonna have to be really good at communication you're gonna have to be really good at explaining and delivering the main concepts and features of whatever the product it is that you are selling so here we go over how to become a sales engineer typical need a bachelor's degree in engineering related fields successful Combine technical knowledge of the products or services they're selling with a strong interpersonal skill. So this is exactly what I was talking about. When you have to be technically savvy, you have to know exactly what you're selling and all the features and the benefits and the problem it solves, as well as being good at talking one-on-one -on -one with people or you giving a presentation to a group of others. And so keep that in mind if you are considering this career, if you are a people's person, if you're just very extroverted, and if you like to be on the road and always meeting new people, maybe this is a really good field for you. Not only that, but it also pays pretty well, you know? And then of course we are already went over the pay and the job outlook and we are going to be going over to the next tab here and like what they do. We already have an idea of what they do, right? But let's go a little bit deeper into the duties of sales engineers to so prepare and deliver technical presentations, explaining products or services to existing and prospective customers. There you go. So you're going to be dealing with customers and then a lot of times you're going to have to be really careful and you have to be really good at delivering the message and being presentable and just establishing a good relationship and rapport. You know, I have a friend who is very good at sales and he says that one of the main things he does is establish rapport, establish relationship with customers. And it's like telling a story. Whenever you're selling something, you want to be, you want to have something in common with people. And so you want to establish a good relationship and more like a friend per se, right? Because people want to buy from people they trust. That's going to be something good to know if you get into this field. Not only that, but actually a little while ago, I read this book called How to Sell Anything to Anybody by Joe Girard. He actually was the world's greatest salesman by the, the Guinness Book of World Records. And I think he sold cars back in the day, I think like in the 80s or 90s or even 70s, I can't remember correctly. But he tells all the stories here in his book and how he was keeping track of customers, how he was establishing relationships and how he was just a friend of people that he would sell things to, you know, and so that way he was able to sell a lot. And so there you go. So that's one of the things that's one of the duties and also talk with customers and collaborate with sales teams. That's the other thing, like you're going to have to be the one communicating and also delivering technical messages per se from the sales team. And so you're going to be a combination of technical and like this says, and marketing per se also, you know, in sales and secure and renew orders and arrange delivery and all this stuff that, I mean, this is, this is something that you can learn on your own plan and modify products to meet customer needs. Oh, this is actually a good one. Like if you need to like perhaps custom make something for a customer, they maybe if they have a special request, you know, you can just go ahead and make those modifications. And also based on your technical experience, then you can give insight to the customer on whether or not something can be done because sometimes customers ask for ridiculous things and then you have to be able to tell them, Hmm, let me see what I can do. Don't say no straight up, but tell them, let, let's see what you can do. And then you go back to your company and you start brainstorming, you know, anyway. So then they talk about helping clients solve problems with installed equipment. It's kind of like customer satisfaction type of thing. And then you recommend improved materials or machinery to customers showing how changes will lower their costs or increase production. Now, this is a really good one because this goes back to what I was talking about, what kind of value the equipment that you're going to bring to the table, how it's going to help the customer and whatnot, and also help in researching new products. And so maybe if you are someone that likes to do research, like innovating and being involved in cutting edge technology or optimization, this may be also a way for you to get some insight, get technically savvy and exploit those skills per se, those skills, and then uh, putting them to good use here as a sales engineer. So I'm not going to go over every single detail. I just want to give you the highlights. I know that you can do that on your own. And then we talk about the work environment, you know, merch like, do, uh, here we have computer systems. Oh, here we go. This is actually a good, uh, merchant wholesalers, durable goods, uh, manufacturing. So those are like a two, like machinery per se. I'm thinking about machineries here, conveyor belts and like robots and stuff. Uh, also like computer systems and talking about software, I want to say here. And then, oh, and then telecommunications and whatnot. So here, like how, how you become one, this is where it goes back to, you don't have to be a, an engineer. 
Uh, you can be someone, there you go, like someone in science and chemistry or in business with little to no previous experience. And again, I think the main part here comes in the training part, which the company is going to provide for you. And so, yeah, now the pay, we already talked about the pay and we talked about, let's say, uh, oh, here it gives you the different types of markets per se and how much each one of them pays and telecommunications seems to be the one that pays the most in 2019 blah blah oh here I'll check this out the median wage for sales engineers was 103,000 the median wage is blah blah, blah. and then the lowest 10 percent earned less than 59,000 59, and the highest 10 percent so if you're a top earner per se you can go up to a hundred and seventy four thousand dollars now if you're a really good salesperson a really good sales engineer and, and let's say you have one or two years on the field and you're making 170,000 that's actually pretty damn good and so you don't need a master's for it you can just be trained on the field and so man if you are very young starting in your career this may be a really good path if you just want to maximize the amount of money that you make you know this may be a pretty good path for you so it's good that you are considering it if you're watching this video and if you never consider it maybe something to consider if you're just trying to maximize the amount of money that you make as an engineer so that's one way and then we already looked at the job outlook and how it's growing at six percent faster than the average and then of course different states are going to have different trends and you can go and explore that on your own because i encourage you to do your own research this is just what i'm finding and what i and I'm, what i'm sharing with you and then similar occupations in here here we have like all the engineering industries right like aerospace computer hardware electrical electronics engineers like industrial engineers and whatnot insurance sales agents actually one time an insurance company contacted me to work for them and afterwards i realized that they were only looking for me because they wanted to tap into my network of engineers and so after i learned this it was very discouraging and i felt like i was being used you know and so anyway i never really pursued that path but it's something that i could have done in the past if you're a sales engineer most likely you're gonna have i want to say an engineering degree and some of these fields may not be applicable to you but you do get the point so more information let's say what we got here now if you want to do a little bit more research on your own obviously i encourage you to do it but i really hope this video gives you an idea and some insight of what sales engineers do and whether or not this may be a path for you going in the future and like i said i think that if you are someone that runs, in, runs into this position after graduation and then you become one of the top 10 percent the top top 10 percent sales engineers out there Man, you can make bank 170,000 tops. I mean, you, who knows? If you're great, you can make even more, right? And so that's all I want to share. So in conclusion, if you're someone that is highly extroverted, so, someone that likes to interact with others a lot, someone that likes to be in person and explore new industries per se and be technically savvy and perhaps innovate and make new recommendations for new designs and optimizations to your machinery and just help people solve problems by selling them something by selling them something, selling them a product, and not only that, obviously you're gonna make a nice cut out of it, then maybe sales engineering is a career that you can explore and consider for your long-term goals. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, consider subscribing, and if you like the content, cons I already said consider subscribing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you soon, peace.